guys. Zan came in because we share. I shared everything with him, so he got me sorted. So what I'm going to do is just pop out my chat. Um, I don't know what I'd do without Zan. I'm just going to thank him, actually. Send him a quick message because he really is amazing for doing this. Absolutely brilliant. So, right, let me um, pop my chat out. Bring it over so it's not in the way. Go to live chat. And you can all see me look. Hey! <laughs> well, you didn't expect it to go smoothly, did you guys? Because it's me. So it won't go smoothly. I don't think it'll <laughs> go smoothly at all. And all I can say is, Zan, again, thank you. And thanks to Jay for coming in, jumping in and trying to help me as well. Do you know the support I get off you guys is amazing. It really is. And I'm so glad that Zan um, helped me sort out where I can take, he can take control of my computer. Because I'd be still sitting here going, huh, huh, huh. Seriously, I would. I am just so, so dope. I mean, now you know why I have my scales of mongness for myself. And I'm a <laughs> chinwank. I am a chinwanking mong. I'm so, so nuts. So what I'm going to do is just nip into the um, chat and say hello to everybody. And I'm so sorry about earlier. So, um, Grimmy, I think Zam would have. But if he hasn't, he, he, he's, he can just get control we can sort that out another day. So Grimmy's in, Sinner's in, Gailey, mwah, um, Gary, Village, my adopted son. Who else? Scotsman, hi there, darling. Um, who else is the Chunk, hi, Chunk. Goobs, hello, darling. Paul, Ian Morgan, hey. Kevin, aloha. Who else is here? Chris Doyle, hi, sweetie. Irish is here, hello. Hi, Matt Chandler. I bet your missus is getting big. It won't be long now before Alana has that baby. Hi, Trigger. How are you? Bill Richards. Hello, sweetheart. Zan, I just, I, I really can't thank you enough. I just love you so much. You know I do. So thank you again. Uh, who else is there? Have I caught up with everyone? I've said hello to Irish. I think so. Wow. <laughs> Were you ready for that? I bet you was all prepared for this, weren't you? I bet you was all prepared for me to do something completely wrong. Seriously. And this time, I really tried not to. I just pressed start streaming, but I must have done something because I probably unconsciously touched something because I can't help it. I am so, so bad. So, Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year to you all. 2019. And I hope you all have a great year. I'm hoping mine carries on being as crazy as it is now. Hi, hubby. I really do. I don't want ever for everything to go perfect with me because that would be um, a bit strange. It really would be a bit strange if I did something perfect. Mrs. Chunk, is Mrs. Chunk in? Because if she is, hi, baby. Um, yeah, I just... <laughs> so, Wow. <laughs> What have we got to say for ourselves, apart from the fact that um, how many times have I screwed up trying to do a live? Oh, that would be twice. How many times have I tried to do a live? That would be twice. Damn. So when I try again on Sunday, I wonder what that's going to be like. I bet that's going to be fun. What do you reckon? <laughs> a bit crazy. So, like, right. So, obviously, let's do what I'm vaping on. Obviously, crown kit. I love my crown kit. Everybody knows that. I really do. And I've got... Which one is this one? I've got sour candy pineapple in it, which is really, really nice. I've also got a pod kit, and I have got Dinner Ladies Lemon Tart. That's in my pod kit. Faithful Top Side, and I've got the Rebirth on top. And in that, I've got um, Bazooka in it, which I really like. What else have I got? Um, oh, here it is. So I've got my SL class and I've got the MKRTA on top. And in that, I've got the Fizzy Wild Berries. And I must admit, I do like the MKA. The MKA? MKRTA. So 
So I've got that. And lastly, I've got my V sticking and I've got the Reverie on top of that. And I have got Jack Rabbit Vapes Succulent Strawberry in it. And I'm really enjoying using this Reverie. Now, the reviews for all these will be out this week. I obviously did the camera down stuff before Christmas, actually. And then I've been using these and I did the filming of the beginning and the ending today of those. And I also did the Arctic Dolphin, the Alpha Arctic Dolphin as well. So those will be out at, po at some point this week. I'm going to try and get them done. So what have I missed in chat? Let's have a look. Um, I've seen my husband was in. Where did I get? <laughs> strap on. Yes, Bill Richards. But I didn't have a strap. Strap on. It's not strap on. It's a strap on. And I didn't have a strap. Strap. You see, you're doing it again. You're making me say strap on because I would get confused. I didn't have a strap on. I did all right. Third time lucky. <laughs> You've got a few days to practice. I have a husband, but I'm not going to go live again to Sunday because everyone will be sick of seeing me going live. Yeah, third time is a charm. Hopefully, village. <laughs> Sunday will be fun day. So let's uh, yeah, Sunday. Well, I thought it was quite hilarious as well, Bill Richards. I did. I thought it was really quite funny. Hi, Alana. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Tom. Nice to see you there. So what else am I missing in chat? Just ordered Banoffee Pie by Jack Rabbit Vape. You will not be sorry. I've got it. The big bottle actually is over there, which is for Stevie. Oh, she says grabbing it. There it is. Banoffee pie. That's the one. I've got the small one that's in the lounge. Really, really nice. Can't go wrong with that. I'm quite happy I did that um, review today. Yes, I think Stevie does need to go to the doctors, Gail. I wish you'd tell him. Because he's not listening to me and he is so, so poorly. My husband's in the lounge, lying on the sofa. Obviously, he's on his iPad watch and he's got this on the TV. He's really, really ill and I want him to keep the plague away from me. I really do. Uh, Matt, for this chat, it's the VUKN only. So, they're the only spanners who can be in the chat for the VUKN. So I can't um, add spanners to this one. It's only VUK and who can. Hi, Sainty darling. Hello, sweetheart. Matt S. Hi, sweetie. So um, it's only on my lives that I can. I'm sorry, I'm watching my phone. <laughs> can you believe it? I brought my phone in in case I, got, I went wrong. And I didn't even have to message Zan or Jay or anybody. So was straight there helping me. Hi, Andy Summerfield. Hello, sweetie. You missed the beginning there where I went completely tits up again. I did everything well. Pfft, wrong. Michelle B. Hello, sweetheart. Hi, Stuart. So what are you all vaping on, guys? Let me know what you're on. Just mama vape. Is it an all-day vape? The Bonoffi the um Bonoffi pie? Yes, it is actually. It is an all-day vape. It's one you can vape all day long. I've really, really enjoyed it. And for me to say I enjoy something that's um, not a fruit as such says a lot because I'm a fruity girl and that is sort of a desserty thing and it's really, really nice. I'm really enjoying it. Anyone likes chemical clan juice? Big sale on their Facebook page. £1.80 for 50ml bottles. I've never tried their juices. Never. And I've got loads of juice at the moment. So I won't be buying any at the moment. Oh, that's all right, Andy Summerfield. You, you don't need to be sorry. You've got to put your, your child to bed. You really have. They, that's more important. Real life is always more important than anything like this. I mean, I always put real life before reviewing, before everything like that. And you've got to do that. You really have. Goober, crown for kit with the silverback rock. Yes, I know, Goober. You did show that picture to me in the private chat. You, you must love it. it, it cause it's really, really good. So, I'm on Dirty Diesel from Rude Oil tonight. Nice, nice. I've not tried that one. Sherbet Lemon Vape. <gasps> Bill Richards. I love anything like that. Skynet Tank. Ooh, Aegis Mini. You know, I would love the Aegis Mini. I want the limited one. I really wouldn't mind it. Yes, Goober. They are the troll stars. <laughs> I'm going to cough, so excuse me. <coughs> I'm still struggling with this. 
So what's really she's the same area. She's got a free bottle of the stuff with his FP and now I'm addicted. I need to get some of that in my life then. I really do. I like things like that. I still love my chef's flavours, Trigger. You, you're right. I mean, DIY is the way to go still. I mean, we're big DIYers here. Really, really big DIYers. And actually, I don't think you'll be able to see if I move slightly over these. Up oh, there's DIY juicers. And these, I think, is it that one? There you go. From DIY from here down. And DIY again. And DIY all up there too. We are really, really big into our DIY juices here we are. Hi Steve, Dave. Hello darling. How are you? So what are you on Scotsman's Shogun mod with the Serpent Elevate on top with Blueberry Jam Monster? That sounds delicious. Mm-mm-mm. And what's Andy Summerfield on? 67 mods, Rave Mini, Shogun RDA from Vapors Clouds with jam in, strawberry jam. <gasps> oh, strawberry jam. Really, really nice. What's Gary? Snickers from the Pancake Factory, Green Lush from che Chefs, Flavours and Lemon Butter Waffle from the Waffle Project. Oh, they sound delicious as well. Hi, John Nash. How are you? Hope you're feeling better, darling. Just can't let the bloody stuff steep. Do you know what? I've steeped some juices for over a year. I did, you know, what we call liquid crack. Um, I steeped that, mine, for over a year. And, wow, it was so, so dark after steeping it. It was so, so nice. I absolutely love it. Love it. What you got, Bill? The IPV, FP on top and mm, homebrew Brazilian coffee. Oh, you see, you've just lost me. I was all with it until you put Brazilian coffee. Because I really don't like coffee. Ugh. Michelle B's on the Gusto pod with watermelon chi chili and the Falcon Tank and my legend with pink grenade. Mm. Yes, Alana, not long now before that baby is going to be coming out. To say hi to the world. Chris Dawes on his purge enforcer with the FP and lava flow. Trigger it, no. It make every, do you know when they talk about all these nice juices and you know that it just gets your mouth going and it does make you hungry. We've not long had tea and yet all these, oh, I want dessert. I want something for dessert and I'm have to get some fruit with a yoghurt. <laughs> so... What's it been like for me for Christmas? Well, we were all ill. We were really, really poorly over Christmas. Um, everybody's getting better. Well, I say everybody. I'm getting better now. I'm still coughing. But the hubby, he started to improve and now he's got quite poorly again. And I think it's because we had the baby again and she's really, really ill. And obviously her cold and giving it to stevie it's all mutated so now he's got the plague so we're like eh, stay away don't want him too close to us do we breathing on me Ugh, how horrible would that be i ain't got time to get ill because that would stop me being on here with you so let me try and catch up on a little bit more of chat sorry if it goes quiet but i am trying to keep up I don't think I've really missed much. I've got the... Oh, right, Village, what you got? You've got the Rebirth on the Q-Mini Fatality on the TAC-21, the Faris on the Drone FP on the Red G-Class. I can say it's the Mjolnir on the Hex. Juggernaut Mini on the Black Carbon G-Class. I thought I have a lot on the go. I mean, I've got my G-Classes. Both of them are there, but... I still haven't done the tanks, to be honest with you, so I can't even vape them. They need um, resorting. I thought I had a lot on the go sometimes. Really do. Bill Richards, yeah, leave, you struggle to leave your liquidity. Have some concentrates that start the day after mixing. In Belgium, often ice cream is my crack. We all have our own crack, don't we? 
Yes, Matt, there is a lot of this virus going around. <laughs> oh, yeah, Alona, can't you drink coffee when you're pregnant? I won't know, because I've never... Obviously, I've been pregnant. I've had three children. But um, I don't drink coffee, so I won't know that you weren't allowed to. Yes, John, this you're the same. Wore out with a chest infection. I know. TVP, hiya, sweetie. Mark Mark gave me so much stuff, he did. I'm still going through it, things for me to review. And, you know, like I said earlier, with me messing up at the beginning and then the guys coming in and helping me, I would really struggle without the support I've had from so many people. I really would. Village, I usually have a lot on the go, but at the moment I'm having to sort of just use the ones that I'm using for reviews because it just gets too crazy. So I'm really, I'm being a very, very good girl. She said she's being a good girl, but she's still got an FP around, you know what I mean? <laughs> Some bits, you know, you can never put away. <laughs> Hi, Alan. <coughs> Sorry again, I'm coughing. What's uh, Milana saying? The smell and taste makes me feel really sick. Milana, it does me as well, and I'm not even pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> the smell, the taste, everything. Ugh. You drink six cups of real coffee a day, Bill Richards. How on earth? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Couldn't do that at all. Bunny, honey. Mwah. Hey, sweetie. So what else have we got going on here? Let's see. I'm trying to... Do you know what? Chat for me, because I wear very focal, so when I look at the camera, I'm looking it straight on, but to look at the chat, it's all blue. So I have to lift my head again to read the chat. It's really quite weird. Really quite weird. So everybody, I mean, do you know, I'm, I feel blessed. I, I, I always feel blessed with if only five of you came in, you know, a handful. Um... But to have you still coming in to listen to me drone on and to watch me, I mean, let's be honest, let's fuck it up at the beginning. Once again, you could all hear me, but you couldn't see me. I mean, that that's fun in itself, isn't it? I mean, you don't need to see me. Most of you don't want to hear me because I'm like, ah, yeah. Because I can talk the legs, hind legs off a donkey, as they say. Grimmy can't even smell coffee. Well, that's not a bad thing, not being able to smell coffee. I mean, who wants to smell coffee? Nobody in their right mind. Yes, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, guys. <laughs> Just for the sheer hell of me uh, messing up and having to stop streaming and start again after Zan helped and Jay came. Oh, do you know what? Like I say, you guys, you, you're amazing. If it weren't for so much support that I've had, I would be now headbutting the wall or something because I, I really do try to get things right, but... <laughs> I get it always wrong. You can't function without coffee, Mark. Really? Matt S, I don't have a meltdown. Because, look, I'm not touching the mouse. I'm being so good. That's why I'm not typing in chat. Because if I type in chat, then I've got to put the love arts up, the emojis, which means I'm using the mouse. And I, Oh, actually, I've got to move the chat a minute. Because, oh, see, that's what happens when I move anything. It all blows up in my face. Let me move it over there. Get rid of that. Blow that up. Look, I'm managing to move things, blow things up, move my chat, and even get my emojis in the place. It's, huh, look at that. I've done all that, and I've not messed up yet. Obviously, I'm not touching anything that's to do with OBS. So what? Who else? It's free at work. What? Coffee? Ugh. Mark, I thought you were going to say I can't function without lingerie. <laughs> exactly. Zan, I'm not touching anything. What I did is I didn't have my chat quite on, so it was split between the two screens. So I've just moved it over and got the emojis up, and then that's it. My mouse is now to one side again, but it's nowhere near. Everything's away from the OBS. So it means it's easier. Hi, Sloney girl. You all right, sweetheart? Yes, John, you take care, sweetheart. Don't want you being ill again. You take it easy and I'll talk to you soon, all right? 
Right, a quick drink. Iron brew in a glass, no alcohol. Although Captain Morgan's in Iron Brew does taste delicious. Well, I think so anyway. I really like it. Hands are away from the computer. I tell you, it's going to be as bad as like um, on Sunday where I was told to sit with, sit here and talk but just have two mods always in my hand so I didn't touch it because every time I touched anything, everything went mad. Are you going to Expo? Who, Alan? Hope to see Mike Twister Vapor soon. Paul is on a, he's coming back to reviewing. He's not coming back to doing the show with me, but um, he's back doing reviews. And that is a really good thing that he's going to be coming back to do that. Hi, Andy. UK Andy's in. Hello, sweetheart. So, did anyone get any nice vape gear for Christmas? Or have you all got enough? I mean, I didn't... I did get some stuff, I must admit. But for reviewing. Um, but, yeah. Did anybody get anything nice? Oh, we're all going to be there, Bunny, aren't we? October... Sorry, May Expo. Oh, I know, that, that mod with um, Mark put up TVP. That was absolutely dangerous. That, I couldn't believe that. Really, really dangerous. Wasn't impressed with that at all, because you think if he'd gone to bed, him and Becca had been in bed, I dread to think what could have happened. Really do. EU Andy, uh, Grimmer, that is funny. <laughs> Not UK Andy no more, you're the EU Andy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got your Q Mini just before Christmas. Does that count? It does, Village. Hi, Shelly, sweetheart. How are you, darling? Hope you're well. Andy Williams, you're going to break your virginity then. So you're going to pop your cherry at Expo in May. You have to come and say hi to us all. And you'll find everybody just is so friendly. We all get on. There's no nastiness. Bill Richards, you got the IPV... Vits and the cube kit and the Aegis Mini. I really want the Aegis Mini. I really do. Right, night trigger. Catch you Sunday, sweetheart. You got Sloan, you got some juice and some drippers. You always get juice. I've never known anyone to have as much juice as you. Matt S got his Claymore from Mike Mex and, uh, oh, TM24. Now, what are you thinking of the Claymore, Matt S? I've got a special one coming. It went to um, be engraved on Monday by Kenny um, for Stevie. It was for his Christmas, but my um, Kenny was in hospital, so we arranged to have it after. So what do you think of your Claymore? I know Stevie can't wait to get his, and I will review it, obviously. Yes, you tell him, Village. It was amazing. Sloan, <laughs> I used to think that as well until I found out how much juice I've got and I'm like, no, I've got too much. Samsung 20s and it's fantastic. Matt Chandler, naughty, naughty. <laughs> Ages legend with, with juice before Christmas. Nice Shelley. So, I've got nothing planned for tonight because it's the first one back after Christmas, our Christmas break as such. So, I'm just literally going to go with the flow with you all in chat. But then, from next week, I will start talking a bit more about other things. And sadly, because um, the Monday show who do the news and things aren't in no more, so what I'm going to do is incorporate it giving you some information about vaping news from next week as well. Um, so, yeah. Matt Chandler, you're very good at being bad. That's what you are. <laughs> you got the top side and katana kit just before Christmas. Oh, yes, you did. And the top side. 
you've got the same colour as me. Love it. I've got the jewel coming and I've got, um, I can't wait. I really can't wait to get my hands on that. Hi, Danny, sweetheart. How are you, sweetie? Hope you're well. So, yes, I know I did say that uh, my shows weren't going to talk about vaping news unless it was something big because there was enough shows at the time who were doing it. But because they're not now, I will be bringing it into my show to give you all something, a bit more information, try and get a little bit of structure. Not too much structure because it's me. We don't want loads of structure, do we? I keep having to look over there because that's where I'm chatting. Yeah, we don't want loads of structure. It's me. We want it to still be a bit crazy, a bit wild. We do, so, yes. So what would you all like to talk about? My wife hasn't cottoned on. I haven't moved here to back yet. <laughs> <coughs> Timmy, hi <laughs> Yeah, so Guys, if you've got anything you want to talk about Hi Northern Vapor um, Vape Rattle and Roll ended Because the lads had to move on to other things And Mike needed to finish Because of his health, his mental health problems He's only just going to be coming back To reviewing soon so, since there was no vape, rattle and roll anymore, it was just me, it, it needed rebranding. So, hence, the name changed because it, you've just got me now. And what it'll be is, it'll be me shooting the shit with you all. I will have some news and things bringing in from next week. Obviously, this week's just a bit of um, a light-hearted hearted laugh. And I'll be bringing in guests every now and again. It'll, so, it'll be more just a guest every now and again for my shows rather in than having anybody else co-hosting at the moment there's no point in me getting anybody in with me permanently i don't know how to do my obs very well as if you'd seen at the beginning it was all dark screen it was all sand but i didn't have a picture i had the same problem sunday it was a right mess up but obviously we've got it sorted thanks to the guys so have i missed anybody yet What's your favourite mod? As I've got a VOOP and I'm embarrassed to use it after what's gone on. Alan, don't be embarrassed to use it. If you still want to use it and you love it, still use it. I'm, I, I'm not doing drama in, in mine, so there's no drama on my shows. I don't like drama. I like to avoid it. I don't particularly like what went on with the Ben Phillips thing, but that's it. You know, I've said my piece in my chat previously, but I'm not bringing it into here. So, yeah... Don't worry, if that's what you want to use, use it. I'm, I love this. I love my top side. I really do. I mean, don't get me wrong. You all know I love my G classes, my SL classes, my T classes, my V sticking, that sort of thing. But this has become one of my favourite mods to use. It really has. I know that it's not all matchy matchy. It's because this is on, because I've been doing the review for it today, recording it, and I've just left it on. Um, but usually I match everything up. But yeah, my top side is my favourite. So, what's everybody else's favourites? Does anyone have one? Let me check up on some in chat. Huh. Gary asks where I'm buying no hardware at all. Yeah, until the next shiny gets to you and then you buy it. That'll be how it is, because I say that. I always say, well, I do get stuff for review, but no more for myself. So does anybody else have a favourite? Who had top side two? Love the thing. It is to me. It's brilliant. It really is good. I want the yes, the just top side. You're saving for Expo, Gary. Well, I don't blame you, but I want to. You know, I need. Uh, this is my reason for it. This is what I'm saying is my reason for it, and I'm sticking to it regardless. As much as I love them. <laughs> I need it for review. That, that's that's what I'm sticking to. <laughs> Although I can't wait to get hold of it because I do, do love my top side. I have faith in you, Gary. So the theory on... So I can't read unless I my glasses. The hermet now, the Hermetic is really, really good. I like the Hermetic. I really do. Now, I've, uh, Lethal, hello, sweetheart. How are you? But that's it, slow. And if it's a solid workhorse and something you really love, you keep using it, don't you? 
I love the re-sticking. Bill Richards, I do. I've got it here. I've actually got it here with the um, reverie on top at the moment. Although, because I'm an over-dripper, I have to keep taking it off and making sure I don't over-drip. But what I'm going to do is, because I've done the review of it, recording it today, I'm going to actually put the squonk pin back in and start using it as a squonker. So, Mark, haven't you got a... TVP Mark, haven't you got a favourite setup? Everyone always... Has, usually, post, most people have a favourite that they, they just go to one. When you're going out, you just... That's the one you pick up to leave, to go out. You know, it, it's your favourite. It's the one you like to suck on the most. So... Anybody else got any favourites and what would you like to talk about? We've got to kill some time, time guys, because like I said, this was not, nothing was planned for anything. It was just literally have a laugh. Night, goobs. Yeah, right now my Digi Flavor Edge mod and stacked RTA and the Fatality RTA. There you go, see, we always have our something that we keep as our go-to. Hi, Tattoo, how are you, sweetheart? I mean, like I say, mine at the moment is always going to be, it's my top side. Usually it does have the bunker on top, like I said. Jules, more innuendo than Kenny Floyd. I don't do innuendos. Chris, there is a lot of people to say hi to when they're all saying hi to you, aren't they? <laughs> Michelle B, my Cleto Pro used to be my favourite stock tank, but filling it was a pain. My Falcon is my go-to for work. Yeah, I mean, I must admit, this, I, I, I'm really loving this. Thank you, Mark, TVP, and thank you, Village. I, I love it. I really do. And I brought one like, for my daughter for her Christmas present. She got the purple one. And I bought one for Stevie because he wanted to try this and I wouldn't let him. So I bought him a blue one for his Christmas, part of his Christmas. So Paul uses his E-Leaf Icon 220 with the Kenzo RTA when he's at work. And at home, he's a mech head. Yeah, mechs. That's Stevie, my hub hubby. Nice looking single coil RTA. You're right, Timmy. I love the bunker. I really do. My normal go-to are the T-Class and the FP with the top side and the recurve. Yes, Saint. I've got, actually, the FP on my G-Class here. Well, one of my G-Classes on that one. My new goon is faded, glimmy. There you go. I'm at 25 in all my day tanks there. <laughs> Jules doesn't do double entendres. They are single entendres. I'm proud of it. I don't, I don't think I do. Do I do on entourages? Do I do that? I don't know. I'm really good. <laughs> yeah, right, Gary. Put something down. Put something down. What shall I use now? What shall I suck on? Hello, this one. My SL class with my MK RTA in. The flavour from this is really good. Really good flavour. Irish, I am innocent. I'm like the Virgin Mary. Without being the Virgin. But I'm Virgin on insanity, so does that count? Vindicator Mech with a Bonzo 1.5 or Kennedy. Nice, Ian. <coughs> Sinner, don't, because that is, I've now got that vision because in my my head of Gary coming to Expo in Lycra. <laughs> Rainbow coloured Lycra, obviously for Gary, because we all know he likes, you know, unicorn fart colouring. <laughs> I'm trying to think, here you go, Gary, just for you, here's my bunker, which is, it's unicorn fart, talk. And I love this because it, it goes quite nice 
on my top side, but I've had to take it off. But it will be going back on. Gary, you could make that work, but damn. <laughs> Lethal Rage, 8-bot combo, and Luxotic NC. The Luxotic NC is really good, and Knuckle RDA, of course. What's this? I'm looking towards the east if you're a wise virgin, Josie. <laughs> oh, Nightbot needs mind bleach. <laughs> To be honest, what's Paul saying? Some of the older mods and tanks are still great. It's too easy to fall into the trap of searching for the perfect setup, plus it gets expensive. You're right, Paul. You you are so right. And, I mean, like I say, we all have our favourites, don't get me wrong, but I was never into squonking. I've squonked and I really... I always over-squonked. I always had a problem. But this, I really do like. And I've this has got me right into squonking again, really enjoying it. Because I'm a tank girl, usually. Ooh, Michelle, strawberry gummies, e-juice. That sounds delish. Absolutely delicious. Really does sound good. So what's Sinner up to? Can see him running into Expo. Fame. I'm going to vape forever. I'm going to, what's it? I'm going to blow clouds to the sky. Hi. I'm going to vape forever. That is fun. <laughs> oh, my God. I just realised I've just sang to you all. <laughs> can you imagine it though <laughs> no gary you've got a running nass singing that song <laughs> and we want the um star jumps and everything we want all the fun of the fear <laughs> i'll have to try that michelle b I'll have to get some of that in and try it because I do like my strawberry juices. I like, well, I like any kind of fruity juice. So what you all been up to today? I know what you're saying, Tattoo, asking TVB about the flush mod because I was going to get one in to review and, well, Stevie was going to get me one and after what Mark had said, he said, no way. You did, you did, Michelle, you're right. I did have it. I'm going to have to get some more. Got to get more then. <laughs> I need more. Like, I need more juice. I don't need more juice. Oh, can't see them. I think I've got that much VG on my glasses now, and I cleaned them earlier as well. Fush, I can't even say it. Have you all heard me say fukai, fukai? Because I don't know how you even say that. I don't know if it's fuchai, fukai, fukai. So as far as I'm concerned, that was a fukai. Did you, Tattoo? You see, I was going to, but he put it up and Stevie goes, there's no way he's getting me one now. No way. Just the thought of, you know, going to bed and leaving it in the lounge. Matt Chandler. Fook chai. Foo chai. As in Thai chi. So is it foo chi? Got, to go, got the go-ahead to start back next month. So, so I'll be ripped by the time Expo gets it. Oh, hello. Ripped <laughs> Gary <laughs> in his lycra. <laughs> Fu chai. As in Thai chi. Fu chi. Fu chi. Chi as in tea. Oh, chi. So it's a fu chi. And I've been calling it the fukai. <laughs> Set up in my hand is £275 worth but the one in the other comes in at 177 176 expensive whichever way you turn but kevin if it's what you want and what you like go for it egg foo chai chi chi egg foo chi you can i'm getting confused now trying to say it i can say miona will that work the miona because even vic can't say that so that must count for something eh 
And he said something I can say. Fuchsia. I thought it was more like fuchsia. Gary. <laughs> so what is it? Who cares? Do you know what? I'm never going to get anything that has that name again then. More rum jewels. I haven't got any rum. Do you know what, Mum? Iron brew. That's it. Now, I like Captain Morgan's in my iron brew, but this one's just iron brew. All the way, guys. All the way. No alcohol for me. <coughs> oh, look. Fushai. 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 I'll tell Nina. Yes, you tell her, Richard. Bill, I can say it. That's a dodgy piss sample. What's a dodgy piss sample? What have I missed? You will, village. Helmet. What's, who's got a helmet? It's like shy jewels. Foo shy. Irish, Captain Morgan's in Iron Brew is to die for. It is orgasmic, I'll tell you. You can just drink it and drink it and drink it and then stand up and you're pissed. <laughs> really is nice. But I'm being very good because I've all since over Christmas and even last night actually, I've had at least one glass of either pink gin and lemonade. When I say one glass, I'm talking, you know, pint size here. Or I've been having Kraken and Coke. So, I've had the old glass of wine, don't get me wrong. And not in a pint glass when I've had a glass of wine. Hi, snowman. Um, so, I'm having an alcohol-free day. No alcohol today, tonight at all. I'm just going to be good for a bit. What's this? Sinner should know about dodgy piss samples of a amount of time he's been down the CD clinic. Oh, that's naughty. That is very, very naughty. Exactly, Bill. Your head stays clear, but your legs are pissed as fuck. Gary, I ought to join you. I've been officially off spirits, but I can't. I've still got quite a few. I've got a couple of bottles of gin left and a couple of bottles of Kraken left because we were so ill over Christmas. Although I still had at least one drink, I didn't get to um, have much, if you know what I mean. Not that I say we over drink or anything, because we don't. But even Christmas Day, we just had the one drink because it was all so poorly. And it was just to do the Christmas toast as such, you know, for family, wishing everybody, you know, Merry Christmas, blah, 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 blah. Um, so we've got tons. I mean, Stevie brought himself his normal, you know, a few crates of beers in. I've been filling the fridge and there's still more on the side because I couldn't get it all in the fridge because he's been so poorly. You're off all alcohol now, Sloan. What? Forever? Or until me and you get together again at the next um, Glasgow meet? I used to drink zombies. Look up the recipe. I'm going to say, how do you drink a zombie? Because aren't they them ones who go... You know, like dead, break, but really slow. Isn't that what a zombie is? So I don't know how you drink them. Saints off alcohol till Friday. Is that because of work then, same? Until April. Sloan. Well, the best not be, you, you better have at least one drink with me when you um, do the next meet up. Bill, zombies are great drinks to make people drink, but keep them sitting down so when they have had a few and stand up, boom, they hit the floor. Oh, I'll have to look that up. Although I probably won't drink it. Drink, drink time, leaf. See, we've made leaf will run off now for a drink. That's good, Kevin. 20 years since you had a skin full. I'll bring the iron brew jewels. Yes, Sloan. So what is it? So it's three types of rum, coconut liqueur, and a few other things. What are the other things, though? To make a zombie. That is quite a scary drink, though. Does it taste nice? That's what I'm interested in. Does it taste... Because I like to have a drink 
if I'm having a you know something that's completely off the rails, I like it to taste like a nice fruit punch or such. So you don't know that it's that bad with alcohol and try until you try and walk. <laughs> and and plus at my age, it takes me a lifetime to recover from a, a night session of drinking. A hangover lasts me weeks. It's fruits and rum juice. So yeah, cool Irish then. That'll be all right. Because I like, like when I used to go to stay at my dad's, we used to have what they used to, we used to make a passion fruit or a mango punch, but they put Jamaican rum in it. And you didn't, never tasted the Jamaican rum. You never could taste it. And I was sat on the beach one day. It was um, overcast. And they was having a barbecue. Don't get me wrong, it was roasting hot. And I was drinking this punch, fruit punch. And obviously, the more I drank, the less I realised how hot it was. And I'd buried my feet in the sand. Well, you can imagine in Jamaica how hot the sand gets. By the end of the day, I was absolutely sloshed and I'd burn all my feet to the point where there was actually bubbled blisters. And thank God, my auntie Meredith, my dad's sister, is a nurse. Now you think, oh, brilliant, she put creams on. No, she started chasing me with a needle wanting to pop them. She wanted to pop my blisters. And that was what my aunt wanted to do to me, pop my blisters. And my feet were so, so bad. It must have took me the rest of the six weeks. I can't even remember how long it took for me to heal. My feet were so, so bad from drinking this fruit punch. But it was delicious. It really was. I really, really enjoyed it. And sadly, I've not had it since. <laughs> Yes, remember guys, live chat, don't forget to use the live chat. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, because I'm a numpter. <laughs> so guys, look, we've been on for an hour, even though we're, we, well, just over an hour, even though the first session was you just hearing me talk and no picture, and then we had to come off and start again. So what else can we talk about? Because we've still got like 45 minutes. <laughs> And I don't like awkward silences neither. This is quite, really quite weird. Really quite weird. I do like talking to the camera though. It's like you're all living there. All my friends are in the camera. <laughs> what you have for tea? <laughs> Say it. <laughs> it's serious though. We are not going down that route. We are not doing what you have t for tea. Unless I had something that was delicious, then I would tell you. <laughs> Oh, so a zombie is like a fruit punch, but three times the alcohol. Do you know, I really would like to try that. I really would. And I'm not going, like I say, I'm not doing what you had for tea. Beans on toast, Timmy. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I actually had beans on toast. Best part about getting pissed is the full English at the cob shop. Grimmy, is that the morning after? Because... If I was that drunk at the night time, the thought of eating food would just be too bad. So Sloan's put a zombie is a dark rum, a white rum, a spice rum and lime juice. Oh. And does that taste nice? I don't sound like it, it tastes nice. Shelly's had a beef stew. All right then. <laughs> Shelly, we had stew as well. <laughs> we had a beef stew. <laughs> please try it and cast while drinking it oh yeah that'll be right bill <laughs> i would just like sit on my chain like that <laughs> i would fall off wouldn't i <laughs> it'll be like last sunday if any of you seen it when i came to get back on my chain I forgot he had wheels and went flying towards the back what am i looking forward to mod wise i'm looking forward to the dual top side actually i'm really looking forward to that a dirty kebab after a skinful. It's a cherry on the cake. You see, I, d I don't tend to eat kebabs. I used to like them and then I just went right off them. I haven't had a kebab for about a year, year and a half. Matt, that can happen, drink yourself sober. Jules, you you so got to try zombie. They are amazing. Last time I had a sesh on those, I lost three days. <gasps> Bunny, you're younger than me, so if you had, you lost three days, I would lose three months. 
<laughs> oh, I might have to. Tr so you had one two nights ago. Hmm. Waking up with a kebab on the pillow. Uh. Bill, I'm the same. I have to be careful what I drink, but when I do have a drink, I do enjoy it. Gaily, I think we ought to do zombies for the next meeting and have a shot at them. Blue Marathon. That's a mix of. What's that? Ponch Cuba. Blue. I can't even pronounce it. I can pronounce that one. Seven up. No, no live streaming, Matt, while I'm drunk. <laughs> Sloan, you won't adult. You'll join in. <laughs> That'd be a good for our next session when we all have our next meet up. Do the zombie. Do the zombie. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm having a cough again, a wee choke. Still struggling with this cough. And that's right, Gailey, she is not driving next time. She's going to enjoy having a drink with us. The dark room has to be 58%. Would Kraken count? But I don't know what even Kraken is. <laughs> Try a paralyzer. I say this is a vape show. We're turning about, talking about drink, but I don't care. What's a paralyzer? Andy Williams. Alan Williams, sorry. I had four zombies, sunrisers, and was screwed after. I bet. So is a zombie sunrise much the same as the zombie drink that they're on about? One ounce, one ounce vodka, one ounce whatever that is. Five ounces of cola. One ounce, double, double cream. Oh, I can't have that. Cream. That's a shame. Wood. Woods is two weeks. What's woods? As in tree woods. I don't get that. Or is that a, um, a rum? Is that a rum bill? I'm not sure. It's making my head hurt thinking of all these names and all these drinks. Woods Dark Navy Rum. Okay. And it's two weeks. I've got a yoga mat. <laughs> Bill Richards, yes, pusses is a nice, great cold remedy. Yes, George. Woods, two weeks. Stay off the booze then. <laughs> Can you do milk? I can't do milk, no. I'm lactose intolerant. I can do a bit of milk because of my medication, but I can't have too much. 57%. It's a rum. Hmm. Anyway, guys. Is my sound all right this time? Because if you remember, I was having a lot of sound problems on Sunday. So as my sound, is it this time? Can you hear me or do I need to keep going like this? Oh my God, Jules. Drunk yoga would be an ex ex exercise DVD. Irish, no one needs to see me do yoga it's sober, never mind drunk. Thank you, guys. Thanks for letting me know that the sound's all right again. That counts out the pink polar bear then. What's a pink polar bear? What's the story behind the yoga mats? <laughs> Thank you. It's because of um, Gary. It's Gary in the yoga. <laughs> Remember, he's going to be wearing Lycra Expo in May <laughs> and singing the fame song. <laughs> we do have a yoga mat here, actually. It's for the kids. Ray and Nephew... Overproof white rum is damn good stuff. You feel no pain after drinking that, though. Well, that's all right if you feel no pain. Oh, wait, do you mean, like, you feel no pain because someone could hurt you and you don't feel it? I thought you meant it would be all right. Vodka, tea and Maria. Grenade and milk. Vodka, who drinks tea and Maria nowadays? Can you still buy that? Although, I don't even drink vodka. 
Unless yeah, no, I don't. I had um vodka skittles, and ugh, I was so so ill. I cannot. The thought of drinking vodka, the smell of vodka, just ugh. After you know, skittles. Anybody had that? Where you've drank skittle shots with vodka. <laughs> you can fall into a skip and not feel the grazers until the next day. Ah, right. Well, it would be a bit hard for me to fall into a skip. Have you seen how short I am? Well, slow you have. <laughs> Although, our wee Michelle's in here. She makes me feel like a giant. Matt says, it looks like a strawberry milkshake. Tastes like chocolate milkshake. See, I don't like chocolate milkshake. Damn. I know, man. When he run out of coke for his vodka use. Milk for a mixer. Ooh. Yes, skill bombs for Gary at the meat. Taste the rainbow. And the other thing is, if you drink that much skittle shots and you end up vomiting, you actually vomit like fluorescent green and, you know, the colour of the skittles. You really do. And I am not going to tell you what colour your urine can come out like, but just take a guess. <laughs> Michelle, you are cute as a button. You really are. And I do feel really tall next to you. And it's it's really quite difficult to make me feel tall. So I love standing next to you. <laughs> vodka, Tia Maria and milk is a basic white Russian. Milk and vodka isn't so unusual. Really? Oh. If I run out of iron brew for my vodka, I use, oh, dilutant orange juice. How, say, how could you run out of iron brew? Nobody runs out of iron brew. Especially in, Sc in Scotland, we don't run out of iron brew. What is this with the mats, Gary? Please type it in and explain. Why have you got, have you really got yoga mats? What's this about? Please tell me. <laughs> Try Skipper Bitter in the Netherlands. That is a kind of gin, but then about 6%. See, I like gin. I do like gin. That's just lazy Irish posse experiences. The pride of crawling home after a skinful. And Village knows all about that. Village and my hubby drink into, what was it, four or five in the morning? At Expo in October? With um, Aiden, little bro vapes, you bad boys. I was a lightweight and went to bed about midnight. Only 5 a.m. Andy, yeah, you was there as well. Bad boys. Last time you was in Scotland, you drank a case of iron brew in two days. Bill Richards, I could probably drink a case of iron brew in a day. <laughs> At least, I love iron brew. I really do. I was a wee bit drunk and accidentally brought a few yoga mats. Well, 96 square yards to be exact. Well, why don't you sell them on, Gary? Why don't you sell some of the mats on? I'm sure. <laughs> Although the thought of being that drunk that you brought, 96, is quite funny, but. <laughs> oh dear. He built we glues with his mats so he could vape his rainbow mats in peace. <laughs> Kevin, that is funny. <coughs> so, guys. Are you all on live chat and have you all given us a thumbs up? Please make sure you do. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> this is my first actual show, thinking about it. I've actually had to do on my own properly, isn't it? Alright, I gave most of them away but I have one box that stuck to me like a rash. Well, that's a shame, Gary. Well, you can give me one, village. To be fair, Jules, that was Aidan's fault. He was making us drink vodka from the bottle. Granted, it didn't take that much to persuade us. No, it didn't. It didn't take you that much. And I don't even remember. Do you know what? I must have been dead to the world because 
Did I wake up when Stevie fell into bed? I can't remember. I can't remember at all. He can't sell the yoga mats. He keeps them old. Oh, that's, that's his favorite gear. <laughs> Welcome back, Lefo. Gary, if you if you want to sell one, I, I'll buy one for my wee niece. And I can have it. You know, I've already got one here, so I could have another one for both the girls. And then when they're in the garden in summer, they're ideal, that sort of thing, for on the grass when I've got the... Obviously, because the the baby, she's only one. They're, they're good for them to run about on. I think they're hidden the lentils in there. The kitchen cupboards are full of juice. <laughs> Aidan was pouring his vodka by the half pint. Do you know, that doesn't surprise me. And Aidan was so, so good all the way through Expo. I must admit, in that one night, you all just... you were, Everyone was so good. And then that night, you all just got completely pished. Absolutely pished. I can't believe it, guys. It's now coming up for 20 past nine. We've done all right. Rolled up. It's the ones that link together to cover the whole floor. I was drunk. Fuck me, Gary. <laughs> that is crazy. So are they like more like gym mats then, Gary? Hi, TC. Hello, sweetheart. Nice of you to join us. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and use live chat. Two bottles of whiskey, 18 pounds of 19 shillings and too many. Not all in one night. Yes, do. Oh, so they are the ones that they use at a gym class. Well, <coughs> if you need to get rid of some, I can say you can throw some my way for the kids. When he tells the story, he's a fucking hilarious. I was crying with laughter. Do you know what, Gary? I need to hear the story of all this. I really do. I really need to hear this. Quick drinky poos of Iron Brew. Can't believe you, you, you got that drunk that you had that many though. Bill Richards in one night. Damn. You must have been ill the next day after all that. I would have been dying. I wouldn't have even been able to. I would, do you know what? That would have been one of them nights where you get to sit on the toilet and fall off. And end up peeing all over the floor or something. Gary, how often do you do drunk purchases? <laughs> <coughs> Pretty sure it was the only way, the truth way. <laughs> yeah, how, how would you do that? <coughs> if I did that, Stevie would kill me. So when it ended in somebody else's bed, I dread to think what ended up in somebody else's bed. Shall we? I'm totally not a drinker, but I found a love for strawberry and lime. Copperberg. Copperbergs are nice. Gary, I, I'm going to have to get this information out of you. Definitely got to. A four-day bender. Damn, Kevin. I can't do a one-day bender. One night and I'm done. I know Irish, he, he, he can't blame his rainbow collection on being drunk. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> I've got a right tickle. <laughs> Stella. Is Stella the drink or Stella the person? <laughs> she, was, it, was there a Stella at a bar pouring drinks at you, while you're propping it up with your mates or something? Yes, he does him. He does 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 him. Uh, <laughs> sober. Come here. Put my teeth in. They are my teeth, though. They are real. The mine. Yeah. It was how I, con I controlled hypermania before the meds. Oh right. So there was a method in the madness there, Bill. 
Well, that's good to know. Oh, Stella Artois. Stella Artois. You hear a posh sound then? Artois. The bane of my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> my hubby don't even like Stella Artois I don't drink any kind of beer lager or anything like that can't bear it myself get it can't bear it beer no I thought that was funny that was really funny for me that was a joke why aren't you laughing I can't drink beer can't bear it myself I want laughs that was a joke I thought that was really funny. Oh, you didn't even get really much more than tipsy. Thank you, village. See, I, I don't get jokes at the best of times, so I thought that was funny. Gareth, <laughs> it's not all rubbish most there. <laughs> Saint, there's no no need for the tumbleweed. Zan, that was funny for me. Because you know me, I don't get jokes. I thought that was quite good. That That's it, Bill, because I don't, I don't understand jokes. I, I haven't got that... I don't know. I don't know what the word is for it. That sort of sets humour. That was one out of Les's joke book. It was not then. Because Jez, Les, Jez, <laughs> Les told me a joke and it took me like 45 minutes to understand it. Vaping Harry, Stella goes out with her mate Stella. It gets poured all over her fella because she says, man, he ain't no better than the next man kicking up fuss. Sheila by Jamie Taylor. I don't get that. I don't get that. Is that a song? <gasps> it is. I do know the song. Stella, she goes out with me. Ah, uh, yeah, I know that one now. See, it's two seconds. Gary, I bet you there is enough Stella to make you buy a rainbow mod. If you can buy that many bloody mats. Why don't you donate them to um, a nursery or something? Or, you know, a, a, a church hall where they have a little, I don't know, toddler group. <laughs> everybody's got to worship Zan that's why you can all see me now because Zan took control so what what challenge is this then Sloane with Andy I mean, if we go up a bit there is not oh right yes well that's what we've got to do zan is the man that's what we've got to do we'll all have to bring some stella artois i love that artois to the next meet <laughs> and pour it down gary's throat whether he likes it or not <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, Zan's struggling at the moment. He's not sleeping well at all. Glen Fiddich. Oh, that's whiskey, isn't it? Yeah, Gail, I think he would like that. We all just poured it down his throat. Is the way she said, whether I like it or not a lot. Exactly, whether you like it or not, we're going to pour it down. <laughs> the best whiskey is in a blue bottle. Thank me after you try it. We need to know the name of it, though. <laughs> I brought Stevie a really nice whiskey for his Christmas, actually. And I can't remember where it was, but it was in a nice, pr pretty box and everything. Grouse only for a hot whiskey. Okay. I don't really drink... Well, she says I don't. I don't really drink whiskey that often. 
I like my gin. Pink gin though, best. And um, obviously, we all love our Kraken. Sorry guys, I needed a quick sip there. Well, we've got about 15 more minutes or so before I have to leave you all, guys. So is there anything you would like to talk about apart from alcohol? Or anything apart from Gary in Lycra or his drunken antics of buying all sorts? A black bush. And I can't even say the name of that Glen, whatever. I can't say it. Glen Morangi. Is that it? Glen Morangi. Obviously, it's a whiskey, I would imagine. Chocolate and. Is that that picture that you put up? Is that the one, Gail, that Sloan put up? That chocolate cake, that looked delicious. Absolutely delicious. Scones. No. Nobody gets any of Gailey's scones. I love her scones. Right, so Glen Orangey, pronounced as orange, just right. So Glen Orangey. Orangey? Glen Orange. So just Glen Orange. Tell you something about me. Oh, there's nothing to tell about me. I am just like... Miss Boring, really. I get up, I do stuff. I go to bed. <laughs> I'm really such a... I am a boring, boring kind of person. Pronounce this yummy. <laughs> oh, at Glen Orange. E. Why? Glen Orange. why? I'm a lovable fanny. <laughs> I tend to wind everybody up in a nice way. And I don't do it on purpose. That's a bit about me. I'm just, you know. I, I don't have a shit filter. That's what I've always been told. My daughter doesn't as well. So I don't say anything nasty to people. Don't get me wrong. When I say I ain't got a shit filter, I'm not nasty or anything. It's just if something pops in here, it comes straight out. And... Yeah, I'm a helmet. I'm a fucking helmet. <laughs> I just, I don't think before I open my mouth half the time. Although I'm really, really trying to think nowadays before I open my mouth and not be a helmet or, you know, uh, give everybody face palm moments, you know. I am trying, but usually I don't have a shit filter. And it just pops in there. And no matter what, I'm, we could talk about anything. If it's in there, it comes out. Hi, Mr. Milo Blue. Hope you're well. Have you been about since last year? So it's a little late, but wishing you and your family a happy new year. I wish you every success with it. Oh, thank you so much, darling, and happy new year to you. I ha and um, it's a shame you haven't been about. So what have you been up to, sweetheart? Just be you. Exactly, Gailey. Got to be me. Well, Matt, it, I, I don't know. Does it make it fun chatting with me? Especially when you chat with me face to face and that? Because I just go off. Chimanga. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> but I'm not a nasty person. I don't like drama. I don't like trouble. You know, I'm one of these people who turns the other cheek. And then if you do it again, I'll turn the other. You know, just keep doing it. Because I don't like conflict. I really don't. I like everybody to try and get on. But... I know life isn't like that, and I'm starting to learn that now, especially more since I've got into the reviewing and getting putting myself out there a bit more. I'm starting to realise that I've got to get a bit of a backbone, and I don't like having a backbone. I'd rather be a jellyfish. <laughs> no, I'm not shy, Kevin. Not shy at all. That's something I've never been. I've not been. A sh I'm not a shy person. I'm quite outgoing. Yeah, Gailey's my pit bull now. Well, she's not. She's lovely. She's not a pit bull. <laughs> exactly, Matt. 
it's not needed in vaping at all. Exactly, Bill. We're just having a... We don't mean harm. We just have a bit of fun. Jellyfish sting jewels. Irish, they do. And I, I have lost it the odd time. Not not often. It's got to be something that really, really upsets me to make me lose control. But um, I'm a Leo anyway. So can you imagine? Rah, Leo. So, yeah. Honestly, Jules, don't change. You're an absolute lovely, caring, warm-hearted person. You have us all in hysterics. Oh, thank you very much. You don't need a bag. You got. Thank you, Aunt Alan. That's really, really nice. I'm really shy until I get to know people. Bill, a lot of people are. I'm just not. <laughs> I'm kind of. I'm always one of these. I trust that. I know it sounds silly. I like to trust everybody, and I'm one of these people. I'm a touchy feely person, as everyone knows. So if I meet you and you say you're on, I'm like, hi, hugs and, you know, I'm, that's just me. Bill Richards is a Leo too and you're shy. I'm not, I'm just like, I'm not like centre of attention, like creating to be made into the centre of attention, but I'm just quite outgoing. <coughs> Dentist issues, oh dear, Mr. Milo Blue. Gail, you're right. I do talk to them all and it gets... Well, I talk to the door. <laughs> I even talk to my sat-nav, guys. When she will say, turn right, I'll say to her, are you sure? <laughs> Kevin, you're really shy as well. That's weird, isn't it? But then again, being on a computer, you talk to everyone without actually physically meeting them and seeing them. So you can chat in, on a, in a chat room as such like this. And it's not as bad. It's when I suppose it's when you're face to face with people. But you'd find I'm actually all right. Yeah, Gail's really shy, guys. She is so shy. Really, look, look at the honesty in my face. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Next going. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Many people still believe we all live on a spinning ball. <laughs> Irish, you have social anxiety, in general anxiety. And uh, do you know what? I can completely appreciate that as well. Not everybody can be out going. Gail can tell you I'm shy when we met at the last Glasgow meet at Sully's. TC. Michelle B, yeah, and look at you. you. You got to meet us all and you seem was lovely. Village, I wouldn't say I'm shy. Just go silent when I'm not comfortable around a person. But if I'm comfortable, I don't shut up. Village, you never shut up around me. <laughs> so that's good. Jules, do you have a Alexa you could lose hours with her? I wanted one and Stevie said no. Because I wanted to keep going, Alexa, do this. Alexa, do that. And he said I can't have one. Bill Richards, I like to trust people. I'm quite tactile, but it takes a while. We all chat on here, but it took me a while to chat. Oh. That's a shame. Well, you found out now that we actually all get on and we're all all right. And I've not had any problems with anyone in the chat. And, I, you know, on the most part, I've found my vaping experience really good. And I found the vape family as a whole really good too. Did I just set your Alexa off? Oh, wicked. I want one. I really want one. I was watching the news this morning and they brought out a clothes folder. Wow, what's wrong with your arms? I don't get it. How can you have something that folds your clothes? What if it folds it wrong? <gasps> Gary, you brought three Alexa. And have you got any left? Because I would buy one off you. Women through the West seem scarier. <laughs> Three was drunk again. Gary, have you got any left? Oh, right, so they're only good for shirts. Yeah, so I'm going to say, what if it folds it wrong? I'd be a bit worried. 
And Gary, I hope you've got some of those Alexas left because I want to buy one. I really wanted one. I thought Stevie would have got me one for Christmas. I reach I nearly choked <coughs> when I read that. I nearly choked. Dear me, don't make me suck on this and then nearly choke. Oh, you sent two back and kept one. You should have sent one back and sold me one. <laughs> the Vape family has help, helped me so much with quitting the stinky cigs and now just pass the full year off them. Well done. Whoop, whoop. Never going back. Good. Good. That's really good. I mean, I wish I'd found Vic back when I first come off the cigarettes and started vaping because me and Vic, there's not much between us. Um, we quit around the same time and he would have been brilliant. I mean, don't get me wrong, I found him early, early on, but not as early as I wished. So, yeah. What's that? Alexa, where's my rainbow mod? <laughs> no, Milo, you've done absolutely brilliant. You really have. Absolutely brilliant. It's not easy quit getting off the cigarettes. we Because we've all been there. We've all done it. And it isn't easy. And this is what's good about the vape family, how we can all support each other. And we don't get nasty or put people down if they have that little slip up and go back on the cigarettes for a bit because we all know what it's like and we all still remember that craving because i do even though i've been off you know cigarettes for so many years i still remember the craving jules you say there ain't much between you and vic i beg to differ lol i know which one i'd rather meet on a dog night lol that'd be vic then <laughs> <laughs> seven months i was on 40 days for 25 years wow that's amazing alan exactly matt it is and it don't matter if you fall off the wagon or sort of fall off the wagon it's like drinking but if you start having the odd cigarette again and then do it again jules read my last comment i always read comments i try to um yeah it's it's good no matter what you're getting back on it again and we're all there to help to support each other. Mr. Milo Blue, you're always welcome. Always. Everybody's done so, so well. And it, it's easy. We all know. We all know what it's like. That's why, you know, one of them things. Sorry, go read my last one. Okay, Alexa reply. <gasps> Did Alexa reply to me? Yes. I'm going up, going up, I'm going up. Right, where are you? I did not find any match for a rainbow mod since last week, Alexa said. That's fucking funny. <laughs> See, I need one. I need an Alexa. <laughs> I definitely want one. I don't know what to do with it all the time, but I would just talk to it. <laughs> I saw the comments, mister. <laughs> <coughs> no like i said we've all slipped everybody you know no one's perfect we've got to remember that because we're only human in that song we're only human anyway back to where you all were your parents will be ordering you stuff off electric juice i know it'd be wicked wouldn't it although frodo swears a lot so all he would be doing is just swearing at Alexa. But do you know what? Because they know the name, they would soon pick up it and they'd be, Frodo would be like, Alexa, fuck off. Alexa, fuck. Alexa, shit. And Rosie will be, Alexa, bugger. Jules needs an Alexa to talk to when Stevie puts his earplugs in. Same, he never does. He just turns on his shit filter. <laughs> What's this? No Jules, the amount of sex toys strap on yes etc Alex would order for you we'll be back yeah because i always say that don't you well done jules need to go to bed oh night gaily and thank you so much sweetheart because i know you've been poorly today and you've had that migraine you had one of your bad blanking sessions as well so i really appreciate you coming into chat tonight i really do love you Mwah. night sweetheart mr milo jules and everyone i gotta head off soon the night's overtime is required for holiday law wish you all the very success of the year and catch you all soon loves you all. love you muchly too mr milo you take care my darling 
my mum was chuffed when I gave up smoking and said, when are you giving up vaping? I said, never, because I love it. Exactly. Alexa, where's his vape? <laughs> exactly. My mum would be pleased that I, I've, you know, got off the cigarettes. Sadly, she she passed away before I could. Jules, don't, don't link your cards to automatic ordering with Alexa. The birds, oh, yeah. Can you imagine that? Oh, I'd, and the thing is, I could blame the parrots for. I'll just say to the parrots about vape game, blame the parrots for Stevie, and he wouldn't have the Scooby Doo. He would not have a Scooby Doo. Because I'll just say, it was the parrots. It was the parrots. It's all about the parrots. And I can say that now because he's probably fell asleep on the sofa because he's so poorly. So he's not in chat. He wouldn't know. And I'll just get all this new gear. That'd be wicked. Oh, can you imagine that? Oh, all the things I could order. Oh, now you've got me excited. I might have to go and get one tomorrow because he's dying. He won't know. He's dying on the sofa. Oh, God, Zan's still in. I forgot you would tell him. Damn, I forgot. Because Gail said she was going to bed. I thought, oh, Zan will probably be in bed. <laughs> oh, no. I, I promise I will not be going to buy him one tomorrow. Honest. Although I had to nip to pets at home this evening before the show. So it was a mad rush. And I wanted to come home with a bunny rabbit. The parrot's ordering five tons of millet. He would accept, yeah. See, he might not believe the parrot's wanted a purge. Mm, he might not, no. I'm already getting a dual top side, Alan, so um, I can't blame that. I don't mind that one. But I did have to go to pets at home and I wanted to buy this little bunny rabbit. Oh, my God. It was this grey, silvery little bunny. It was so tiny. It had these really long ears. Quite thin, they were. Really long. And I fell in love with it. And I really wanted to buy it. And I come home and I told Stevie and he was like, it's a good job you didn't. But can you imagine that? If I'd come home with this, oh, I could just sit here. But he says the smell and they do smell. But I could sit here and, I, and instead of having a dog, because I always wanted a new a dog since I ain't got one anymore, I could stroke my bunny. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? I wonder if I could talk you into it. Because it'll be still there tomorrow. Because I went just before, like, literally 15, 20 minutes before I came on at the air. So, it wouldn't have been sold. And Mr. Blue Knight, I really want one now. Oh, I want a bunny. No, I won't boil it, Kevin. I won't be a bunny boiler. I want to stroke it. Oh, it was so gorgeous. It, like I said, it was grey, but it was a silvery grey. I really fell for it. Yes, the smell. Not in my house. I keep snakes. I don't mind snakes. I prefer spiders. Fuss about two strokes of what? Two strokes me. Who strokes me? Oh, not two strokes. Who strokes me? Oh, I get that. <laughs> Bunny, I stroke ya. <laughs> well, guys, you know what? We've done really well. It is now quarter ten. I can't believe it. I don't know how we've managed to chat this long. I was planning on probably an hour because I thought I really won't have much to say or anything. <coughs> Your rabbit died. Oh. No, I bet it weren't slowing. You should have a parrot on cast for you perched on the back of your chair. Yeah, right. That would be uh, dangerous because it wouldn't be just stay there. My parrots would land on the computer. They'd pull out the keys, especially the bigger ones. They'd pull out the keys. They'd be on the monitors. They'd be shitting down the monitors. No. No, I wouldn't have any of them when I was on cast. It wouldn't be fair on them. Plus, I'd need to always take them back for when they wanted something to eat or drink. It's been a laugh. Keep the vi live vids going. Alan, I'm going to, because I, I do this every week anyway now. George, you, you not have much to say, love. I know. Do you know I've been quiet, Dana? I've already spoke. I've been like, mm. Captain Jules with a rum tankard in one eye. Yeah, and a patch on my eye because one of them's took my eye out. Is any, if any of your friends on my Facebook go into my photos, you'll see some of the damage that my parrots have done to my face from where they've bit me. And, the, the, you know, I'm not talking about my wee parrots. I'm talking about the big, big ones. I've got black eyes where it's all ripped up. I got bit that hard all the way through that when I vaped, it was coming out of there, out of a hole. And when I had to go to the dentist a couple of days later and he said to me, you really need to go and get stitches. And I still didn't. Oh, Sloan. 
That's a wee shame. But Joe, 15, that's a long life, isn't it? A really long life. I want that I want that bunny rabbit. I don't know where I'd put it though, Captain Jules Sparrow. <laughs> I don't know where I'd put a bunny rabbit. Where would I put a rabbit if I had one? Couldn't be in here because this is the guest bedroom. And I couldn't have it in the living room because of the parrots. And Stevie would kill me if I put it in the bedroom and you can't have one in the kitchen. And it can't live in the hall. So I don't know. House bunnies live longer, Jules. Oh, you really do. You have a massive indoor case too. Do they smell, Sloane? Vape channel in a vape video. That's a vape live stream with a vapour that holds vape in the hand. Do they smell? I know, man. I love animals. Oh, I want that one. Looking African grey hanging from my nose. Wife says, oh, he likes you. Have you got African greys, Kevin? I've got three African greys. Congo African greys, not Timneys. Oh, I want that grey rabbit. As long as you clean the toilet corner every day or a litter train them, they don't smell. Can I litter train it then? Because I know you can litter train a chihuahua. Jules, Mama, Vape and Chat. Wish everyone a good evening. Until next time, all I say, bye. Bye, Tom. Love you much, Lee. Bye, sweetie. Tears to a fucking... <laughs> there it was. <laughs> Gary, you can get the glands taken out. Oh, isn't that cruel? I think that cuts the smell down a lot. Isn't that cruel? Mr. Blue Knight, I don't get what you're going on about. Challenge by the most expensive vape. I don't get it. But anyhow... Alan, if you're ever in Glasgow, you can come and meet my parrots. They're absolutely lovely, as long as you don't touch them. Little train of trial. Michelle B, you can. And I tried to explain this to Steve here. And I said, that's why I needed a chihuahua. But apparently, I still can't have one. I've been asking now for like 10 years. And he's always said no. Bye, Bill Richards. Love you much, Lee. Thank you for joining us. Michelle, I would dress it up as well. I've got the outfits and the names picked. I want it. I wanted a white chihuahua. Short-haired, obviously. But now I want the bunny rabbit. Have I missed something in chat? Um... Oh, it's Ken. It's Ken. My husband is ill. So Ken with a sexy come to bed voice is in. Hi. Mwah. I love that voice of his. Don't tell her that she wants to meet them. Matt, I said when you two come up, you'll meet them. Oh, it was a friend's bird, Kevin. Okay. <gasps> Ken. Irish. No, I don't like rodents. My niece had a couple of rats. I, I, Right, guys, it's five-minute warning. I didn't realise I was still chatting. God! Two hours we've done nearly, guys. Can you believe it? <laughs> so it's time for me to say bye. Wait, what, what's this, Phyllis? Next year you'll be wanting a chihuahua. <gasps> a chinchilla. Mmm. Yeah. But they're night creatures, aren't they? So they'll be too noisy, and I like my bed. But anyway, guys, I'm just going to say thanks to everyone for coming in. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for... First of all, for the morning, for the morning, <laughs> fucking chin wank mong again. Thank you for everything you did, being patient when you got the voice and no picture, and then I had to took the stream off, then we had to get it on. Thank you to Zan for helping sort me out once again. Worship you. Chat, I really do love you lot. You, you're amazing. I think the world of you, you're great, great people. I do love you all much, and I really do mean it. But it's time to go. It really is, so... Bye, darlings, and I'll see you on Sunday on my channel for a wee shoot the shit. And on Tuesday, back on here, okay? See you later. Bye. Now I've got to figure out how to stop streaming. Press stop streaming. Got it. Bye.